Today is a windy and stormy day and I'm here in Yafo visiting Frank Meisler and he's in the old city of Yafo creating the most beautiful artwork and we are here to see what he does and meet the man behind this artwork. Hello, how are you? Shalom Frank, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Ali. Good to see you, thank you for having me here. Pleasure, Avi. pleasure. Uh, pleasure. I so came to see you. your artwork and hear your story and see what you did. I've been here many times, many years ago, and I admire you. I have your collection also, and we're going to see it shortly inside your office. And if you mind, maybe you can show us around, show me around what you did, and some explanation. I'll be very, very grateful for I you. I do my best. Thank you. Let's take a look. So this section of the, the building is your gallery. Uh, your showroom, I guess, right? Yes, the gallery. I Here, guess. Uh, I guess, many uh, prominent people come to your gallery, like Paris or uh, uh, Charles. I don't know if they can here, but you met them in some other places. And uh, they all come to visit uh, uh, and meet and see what you did. And uh, some of them, I guess, have your artwork in their own collection, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's get started. Let's see what you uh, are doing here. Uh, tell me about this figure. It looks like an artist. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually Rembrandt. Rembrandt, yes. right. You it can looks see like that the, uh, actually, that's how he appears. Wow. So you design the item and, uh, and then you manufacture it inside, what we're going to see, and each one has a meaning. Here I see you have a door you can open and there is a figure, I guess, of, you told me, King David before? Yes, because when he was a broken and bankrupt old man, I mean Rembrandt, he saw himself as the old and senile and broken King David. Uh -huh. And that's why I... He was drawing him. And he painted himself in that way. And so I thought I'd put him in here, but here are some of the, the productions of the works that he painted in the better days. Right. And here, you have his wife. Wow. In a pool. Wow. Saskia, I think, was her name. Beautiful. So this piece, like each one of your pieces, is very complicated. You have many, many molds, many uh, pieces put together and touched and details. And it, uh, even you have a meaning, you open it, you have a story behind it. So it is yes, very, yes, very, yes, is point, very yeah. intriguing. The material here, I guess, is uh, gold. It looks like gold. It's gold-plated. Gold -plated. And it's most, the, 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 the major part of it is pewter. Even right. the dark ones are the same metal as this one, but it's differently treated in a different way. Right. Uh, in a different way. So it's mostly pewter and gold, and, 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 and different ways of finishing it, including gold plating. Beautiful. Uh, as you see here and, and everywhere. Let's see a few more pieces here. I see you have uh, Judaica. This is also King David over here. And who is this uh, person over here? What is that? It's just, well, it's just a busy man. Busy businessman? A busy with a computer? With a computer. That uh, who has a... somebody might want to uh, take it as a gift. Well, actually, we've done a few of these right. with a specific face and specific right. things that are relevant to right. this particular person's uh, occupation. Right. Well, here I guess you can see me over here. I'm taking a picture of you. See, you have a goat also over here. This is a goat, yes, that uh, very Jewish goat. Because Jews used to, even however poor they were, they would have a goat. Because a goat eats anything. Right. That's beautiful. And this is a violinist, a Jewish violinist, I see. Yes, of course, of course. Right. And this is a Jewish doctor? No, any doctor. It's not a doctor? Any doctor. Ah, any doctor. So you find that sometimes doctors would come here and say, you know what, I like this kind of idea, a doctor and who has a dirty mind, but maybe. I, yes, but, but I am, a, let's say, a gynecologist and I would like to have the specific uh, um, uh, journal and, right. and details of my profession here. And my wife doesn't like me to have this. Could you make a golden heart, which I've done a number of times? I see, I see. And so on. And here you have the patient always. Beautiful. Which, by the way, could be me. I'm a terrible coward with doctors. Beautiful. 
And why is he upside down here, the Hasid over here, singing and dancing? I just, you know, sometimes they have festivities and they do all sorts of nice things. I've seen in Simcha Torah. You make it for fun, I guess. And I see you have also Zygmunt Freud over there? Yes, I have that. That was exhibited by the Royal Academy in, in, in London. Uh, and I got to this because um, Freud's house in London is very close to oh, when, when he was still alive, but it's now a museum. Mm -hmm. But it's very close to, a, uh, to, to the apartment I have in London. I see. And here I see you with uh, Hillary Clinton. And this is the president of the Dominican Republic. This is Rabin and Hussein and Clinton. This is a miniature, actually. Okay, go ahead of something about six meters high, which I did for a mall, a central, it's a central sculpture of a mall. Which mall? In Kiev, in Ukraine. Uh -huh. Beautiful. The, the, the mall is called Ocean Plaza. Beautiful. And of course the sculpture is relevant to, to the ocean. So you have a few other public statues. Oh uh, yes, You yes. told me you designed this one for the kinder transport, that you were one of them from another, after the World yes. War II. It was done for Prince Charles. The request of Prince Charles. Of Prince Charles? Yes. And where is it? In London? In London, at the railway station. At the railway station? children arrived. Wow. What is this one over here? Noah Park. Noah Park. Okay, right. So you got all the animals here. Good. Hmm? Beautiful. So, it's, it is made out of many pieces, which is detailed and touched and yes. put together. Mm -hmm. And you have basically a whole uh, group of people helping you out, building and doing all these things. Can we see part of it? Because I know it's all over the place and we can't go all over the city and see the locations. But you showed me inside. Uh, well, we can have a quick look Let's around. take a quick look sure. and see. This is part of the factory where it's fabricated. Some things are in production, you can see it over here. This way I check everything. You check everything and I guess you sign the many things here that you make and number it. Beautiful. And let's see, this is in production. Here the manufacturing, this is part of the piece which is going to be put together. Looks like no car. Is this no car? Part of it no car. So it goes to different stages. First, the, it has to be molded, has to be put together, painted, the clean, touched. I see some of the pieces over there. So it's labor intensive to put a piece like this together. A lot of work. I'm sure you have a kind of. Beautiful. So each one of them, as a matter of fact, has to be an artist in his own right because they have to be very careful in the way they're doing it. Certainly a craftsman. A craftsman. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's go inside. Ah, Is this uh, the tree of life? It is a tree of life, but look, it opens up with candlestick. Those candelabras. Ah, so you can have a candlestick there. Yes, yeah, we, we have the pieces here. You are a very creative man. <laughs> I'm very kind. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is your very humble office. I mean, a man in your statue should have a giant office. And you're very humble. You have a. Very modest office, and I guess this is uh, Chagall, I guess, you told me before, right? That is Chagall, yes. Chagall, and uh, he also opens up to something else? He does, he does. What can you see inside? Let's take a look. What, what do we see inside? Yeah, you can actually maybe I should move it. Fiddler on the roof we see inside? Kind of, uh, yes. Right, beautiful. And, uh, 
We have a little arrows here. So you have customers from all over the world, right? From Europe, from Russia, from America. Ch they... China also. China now. also? Yeah. Now I want to refer to my collection when you first started out. But uh, let's first go to the beginning. By training you're an architect, right? Correct. And, and you, uh, when you came to Israel after World War II, you designed building, right? Um, I designed buildings, yes. And you moved to designing products and uh, art. What at, at made some you? Point, I, I did both at, at some point. I was both an architect. I had my own office. Right. And also um, designed these on the side, made these on the side in wood. Right. And uh, eventually, they took off. They worked. So I was able to drop architecture, and I wasn't sorry about that. Uh -huh. And uh, I came at a very bad time for architecture, actually. It was post-war, and the things that you had to do were not so much architectural. I just say, they were very, very, very simple roofs over people's heads. Right. And there wasn't very much uh, creativity there. So you were looking for the creativity, and this is my collection, by the way, that you can see here, that I brought you to, to see what you made many years ago, I guess 50 years ago, or something, or 45 years ago? This was what we see. And, and, and I did these things more or less at the time of the Six Day War, that was 67. 67, right. And, and so you did not follow the other doll makers. This is not your work over here. They made the Ammonites, the Arabs, the pioneers, the soldiers. You had your own line, which is wood. Why did you choose wood and definitely different look from all the other dolls? Because it's a solid. It, it, it's, it's solid. It's something similar, not, not unlike actually architectural construction. The very first thing I did was a cow. Right. The cow was a frame uh, of wood, of legs and, and um, spine and neck, overlaid by leather, which allowed it to look like a cow. Right. It was actually like a building because you have the frame of a building and you have the cladding right. of glass nowadays and steel that comes after that. So it, there was a kind of an, my, my, let's say that my five years of architectural training at university um, were a discipline which stayed with me, maybe still stays with me, right. for better or for worse. So what we see here basically, animal designs, which is a frog and a dog, Another dog, another dog, Arab uh, couple over here, and also political figure in a humoristic way, Golda, Ben-Gurion, uh, Moshe Dayan. I showed this to Ruth Dayan and she liked this uh, doll, she said it's lovely. She came to my place to see it also. Uh, did they see what you did? Golda see this product? Did she see her own figure? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. No reaction from them directly. I no. I never had. I, I met her, but I never showed her the, the sculptures, the, the figures. So and whether she saw them independently, I, I never did know. No. Um, Beautiful. So there was a move from the wood product to the more extensive work, which is the metal fabrication. Yes, and that came naturally in a way, but also came quite. Eventually, what happened was that some of the more Universal items like the frog paper holders, which they are, and so on, were being copied in the Far East. Right. And once they were being copied there, of course, they were able to sell them for much cheaper because Israel is not a cheap country. Right. To make and it. And China was dirt cheap in those days, and uh, and so we realized that we had to. We were getting Find huge orders. Right. Uh, to Australia, to America, and here and there, but. Uh, we couldn't compete with right. the uh, cutthroat price. Uh, so and when we saw a catalog of our work printed in China, right. uh, sold in for the European market and American market by the Chinese, we realized that we had to do something. Uh, Change else. direction, right. So I had to do some thinking, and, um, and that is when we moved into metal.
to metal design and combined with metal and, and gold with the, and yes, bronze. Yes, yes, yes. And, and you know, uh, less popular and less competitive. So you have statues all over the world, in Russia, in Kiev. You mean the big public The big public, in yes, England. Yes, yes, in England, in Germany. In Germany. In Berlin, yes. In uh, Rotterdam. Well, I'm very, America, very, I'm very honored to meet you and see you in person no, no, and uh, show you my little collection that I have and uh, tell these stories to my friends if they want to, to, um, to see your uh, work. You have a website, they can see, they can contact and uh, I admire you and what you did and thank you very much for having me here. Thank you for coming to visit. Thank you.